the game is over and FaZe wins map one. All right, well, here we go. Ban Protect for game two. It's going to be Infection, Search, and Destroy. Curious to see how this plays out with regards to snipers. Uh, you know, Karma and Attach, two of the best at it in the game. First thing coming off the board is going to be Overclock. So on this map specifically, uh, Search and Destroy Infection, Optic is 2-0. and oh. FaZe is 2-1 and one coming into this one. It's Search and Destroy in Stage 2 as a whole. FaZe is 12-11. and 11. Optic 16 and 6. Their best overall game mode in stage two. So when you take a look at it, it's like the edge, the edge for phase should have been in hardpoint and uplink. Optic, it's gonna be an S and D and CTF. So right now, I mean that's kind of scary when you think about it, as Optic's already been able to take the hard point, it kind of and, statistically and you, gives you, them the well, edge. Well you here. look at the uplink too, it's gonna be uplink on breach. Phase is very good at uplink, 13 and 5, only 1 and 3 on breach. So three of their five losses come on that one map yet alone. And some so. of the only games that we've seen uh, actually below 500 for Optic are up, are uplink on breach and hardpoint on breach. Those are the two, I, I think, two of the worst game modes for them when you just talk about it statistically. Yeah. Now we'll take a look at the banner protect here real quick. Uh, concussions and flashes both go. High caliber rapid both go. Overkill is gone. Thermal as well. Can it? Go at those snipers a bit. Overclock always goes. Don't want people building up those abilities quite fast. Then uh, last thing gone will be Heat Wave. So uh, Clays are going to get rid of Heat Wave. Uh, going to get rid of that powerful ability that could open up that B bomb site fairly easily. All right. Well, now with Heat Wave gone, what do you think replaces it for either side? Well, I think it's already answered kind of quickly with maybe Glitch might have been sort of the replacement there. Because you're going to have, what, Glitch, Psychosis will probably be the two additions. Uh, yeah. Well, not two additions, but the two outside of your norm, I guess, when you're looking at active camo and kinetic. Well, it'll be Zuma that goes kinetic. Enable will go overdrive. So that's that, interesting. Yeah, we're so used yeah, to seeing Zuma with kinetic, overdrive, yeah, right? It's very interesting. Uh, these last two players will be interesting because Karma usually runs Heat Wave. Clay will go Psychosis. What does Karma like? Psychosis go with? or Vision Pulse? I assume. Yeah, either one of the two. Or maybe, oh, well, maybe Overdrive. Yeah, Overdrive. Overdrive. Oh, okay, very interesting. interesting. So I have an Overdrive on both sides. Uh, this is one of the better maps, along with Hunted and uh, Redwood, that we do like Overdrive on. Ah, uh, sometimes it's uh, here. It's either you. I swear to God, when you use Overdrive in this map, the round last 15 well, seconds. Well, without either you kill all four or all four of your teammates die because you get baited into just a swarming. Usually, the issue with Overdrive on this map is, let's say you use it on offense, and you're going to go push over towards B. If us. Uh, Concussion and Flashbang are still in. Usually you just toss one out to go check. That player gets, with Overdrive, he gets hit pretty quick. Player comes around the corner with an Assault Rifle, takes him out. Overdrive is pointless. But now that those are out of the game, I mean, sure, they could do the same thing with Grenades, well, my, with Semtex or Frag, but it's unlikely. My biggest issue is when that Overdrive person gets out, let's say you push out towards B, they actually have, the gunfight happens around that kind of corner of, like, the outside rock, and when they have that gunfight, they lose it, they don't have an angle to trade it. So it leads to your team trying to fly behind and then trade it, and they, you've, oh, you're it's surprised. not a great angle, You're yeah. surprised when there's then two, three people set up with ARs, and you just it, get absolutely it, melted. I mean, you could try and use overdrive on, well, overdrive on defense is something that you do. Get up the top rock a lot faster than uh, the opposing yeah. team. And we'll see how they have to use it. Catch people off guard, yeah. Be we'll interesting keep an eye on that. So it was, that. it was enable and karma, correct? That would be the two to have it? Uh, yes. Because I always think, I, I it's like set in my brain, you know, since I control the two heatwave players are now running overdrive. I want to usually, I always keep an eye on Zuma usually because he's my, my guy with overdrive, but I'll, I'll keep an eye on enable and karma well, to see what as those guys a, are As of uh, recently, they've been giving Zuma kinetic, which is a good call because you kind of use him the same way that Optic uses Scump, just keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Well, we've challenging, talked about challenging, we've, challenging. We talked yeah. about this map a lot. Let's take a look at it. Uh, we'll look at infection now for search and destroy. Uh, I think this is one of the maps. You know, when you and I talked about how a lot of the, a lot of these maps in Destiny started out with one very solidified point of attack, and you know, between A and B, a lot of the maps have spread out a little bit. Like hunted, you see A hit a lot more. You know, fringe, you see A hit a lot more now. Infection has never really changed. Nope. It has been B, 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 unless things really, really fall apart. Uh, and you can just see how, I guess, more open room there is to work with when well, attacking the B. Only a, is, a is so tough. I mean, man. you look at the A bomb site. You either have to go through broken buildings on that bottom side of your minimap or through the mid. And you could technically go all the way down B Street, hit like a long flank through like Grave and that area, but by that time, I mean, the opposing team kind of a has minute, an idea. A minute's gone in the round or more. And the opposing team has an idea of where you're trying to go. Yeah. So uh, it's really very difficult to get a good push over towards A. It'll be interesting uh, later in the year, obviously. We're very far into the year, but if uh, you know, more around XP time, teams start to figure out a way, they could potentially use the A bombs. Well, I, I'm looking through some of the classes. I do like to see uh, a few players using hardwired on the side of phase. You know how uh, impactful that is now with EMP checks. 
Uh, and if we look at the snipers, it looks like Formal will be sniping defensively. Attach will be sniping offensively. And again, two players on phase are running hardwired. So we'll see if that is going to be a player at all in here. With Thermal off, it is going to be the Varric Scope pushing up top immediately as Attach. He's going to get caught out. Can he get traded out effectively by Zuma? He's able to hunt it down, but not finish the kill. Finally, able to find it. Now going to be into a three versus three. I'm going to keep a naval highlighted on your map because he pushed up towards A, and as the rotation came in, he might have well, the means to flank, but I, I don't I don't know at this point. But Zuma actually goes up back to top rock to challenge and dies with the bomb. It's an awful spot for the bomb to be down in. Optic Gaming, you see all three of those players just converging on the B site. They have an idea of where it is, but I don't think they have any idea that Enable's coming here on the flank, and he gets spotted out, yeah. and now he's He would have had to, to hit that down. way earlier, yeah. I think, for them not to be prepared for it. Oh, it would have been great if he had an AR, obviously. He does not know... What kind of situation he's going to end in? Now you see Clay. Goodbye. There that go. is formal hitting a shot. I switched for a reason. As soon as I saw his arrow turn towards that street, I felt a little bit worried for Clayster. But now it's going to be enabled in a 1v3. 25 seconds of work, but it's going to fly in. Not able to win the first gunfight with Scump in your opening round. Going to go to Optic Gaming. Now, you saw Zuma in that round not have dead silence. I feel like this is a map that you don't exactly need dead silence from the standpoint that you're usually just going to be attacking the B bomb site pretty quick. Yeah. You're usually just going to be fast, aggressive, over towards B. There's nothing to be too silent about. Not going to surprise anybody. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's not a bad map to not have dead silence. Well, let's see how close, uh, obviously, Karma not picking up any kills didn't really move any closer towards the overdrive. Enable just a bit. We'll keep an eye on some of these specialists. But now we're starting to push out here. Uh, Formal's able to hit a snipe. Karma's able to fly and pick up one. one. I actually caught that one. Well, Maybe he's we probably going to pick up more, to be honest. He may find some more kills here. Oh, he's going to peek the corner and end up dropping. Scump, though, will get the bomb plant. It's going to be 3v2 advantage now for Optic. We'll see how FaZe likes to play this on the defensive side of things. So, going to be over in mid. Usually, we see the teams try and bait and switch over at the B stairs. Maybe one player slide in. The next player actually just gets some line of sight from that mid statue. And Scum's actually going to get taken out by Enable, but I don't think they have any idea where that's Karma it, is. It. Karma is able <laughs> to pick it. up two from behind. <laughs> the Gaming takes round number two, jumps up to a 2 all lead. Karma, excellent job flanking back through spawn to come up behind both players. Two of the easiest kills he'll have in his career as he shuts down Clayster and crew. And he so goes no. with a CUDA uh, quick draw grip on this one. So Interesting. Maybe not with uh, the BMP, but it's a little good. bit more range. It's good SMG for a little bit more range. Obviously, infection, uh, you know, those sight lines, especially when you go down the B Street pretty long. Well, I missed his snipe in the last round. I'll at least watch off the opening rip to see if so he can this pick anything up. Because Attach has put okay, it away so for now. He doesn't check uh, over towards this tank. So, yeah, this is a spot we've been seeing teams use frequently. So you can jump over there, get a good line of sight if players are going to be over on the rock. So let's see if he can actually catch anybody. He, he actually yeah, just he spotted one. 100%. So the pressure is going to be coming in towards Scumpy in a second here. See if Scump can lock it down. He's getting vision. Uh, I've got formal highlighted. He's wrapping around the back. He might actually get vision with the sniper in just a moment here. He's going to miss that snipe. They've taken control of the B cipher. Uh, why? Why? Why would you do that? You know formal has a sniper. I know you want to get info on the positioning. God, he's not going to miss that many. There's another two down for formal. Zuma going to be the last one up. Usually when we see people snipe, uh, obviously, like they miss a few shots. They play a little bit passive. He plays with like he has like a submachine gun in his hand. He just jumps at people, flies at him. It does not matter. Well, I may tick some viewers off, but I think he's uh, in route to having one of those games where I'm scared to leave the screen because he's hitting just about every shot he takes. So far, looking very strong for Optic Gaming. You have, what, a 4-0 start for Formal, 4-1 start, I believe, for Karma, was it? Uh, or did I mix yeah, those you up? You got a 4-0 oh, for okay. Karma, 4-1 for Formal. Well, we'll at least watch off the rip. He's still going to be running the SVG. I'm going to check real quick to see if Attach. Attach has switched over to a sub, so he's had a lot of different options. There's going to be nothing here. We can see that the pressure is going to come in. It's completely outside, lining some up for Krem. Not able to finish any more. Two drop now. It's going to be on Scump and Formal. Scump able to get the bomb and get out. Formal's already on this A side, so they're going to rotate across. I think you get bombed safe. down right away. So yep. he's going to plant. Formal's going to cover up. And there's one. Able to pick it up. He saw a second. I thought he was just going to fly out and uh, challenge for a second. There was a second where I thought he was as well. Well, Scump gets picked up. So that now leaves Formal with two players to deal with. They're flying at him. He hits one. Does he realize he's two is right? Not able to do it. He will fall. And Abel clutches up. They win the 2v2. And FaZe will get to the views. The, the, the fact he even hits the first shot is kind of silly. 
It was a wild one, but that, that was a must-win round for FaZe. They needed oh. that in a big way. And uh, Enable gets overdrive, so I wonder if he tries to use that in we'll this check next Enable. round. Yeah, and Karma's got to be close to you, would think. Uh, you would say so. I mean, Enable right now is 2-3 and three with a defuse. Uh, Karma 4-1. and one. Uh, You figure Karma does have his overdrive. We'll actually have to take a look at both players. Uh, I imagine if Enable does, it's that Karma does as well. Okay, so let's... Enable's got it. Karma just used it, actually. Okay, so I... Uh, makes sense, yeah. Missed we the use missed of it, yeah. Karma. We'll see if Enable uses it here. He's not going to be getting it off the rip. Uh, let's see. Uh, they want to deal with the sniper of Formal off the rip because he's got an HC out that's going to be playing defense on A. There's no flak jacket here. No flak jacket here. You better run away. Get out of here, Enable. Thankfully, they're able to take care of it because Enable, no flak. Would and have been a a nice push over towards A. You actually see a phase. They're going to smoke the mid area and then just push straight through over towards the A side. And that's what you can do when the thermal's out of the game. Uh, you see two kills go in favor. Karma going for a double HC there, not able to get it. He's actually only going to get one. They know where Zume is, though. They know he's weak. He's going to have to challenge two players here over in Grave. Not going to win the second fight. Skump cleans it up. It's going to be out into gaming, taking another round. And Skump, this will put him 50 off of the HC. Uh, the retake, very well in a lot. I mean, you know, you saw where Attach was on the B stairs there. You think he has a free kill, but you saw he started to check towards mid-map as soon as the player pushed out for the B-bomb site, got caught off guard a little bit. Round may have gone very differently had he picked up that kill at mid. Uh, he's got the final kill cam, but I do like the strat we talked about. Can teams utilize the A-bomb site? Right there you see FaZe. They smoked out mid. No thermal in the game. They're able to get safely over towards A. Okay, it doesn't end up resulting in a round win. But they are able to make some plays. Uh, you see Formal very close to Camo. Enable still has this overdrive. I want to check to see if he's going to use it. Looks like he's saving it for now. Uh, that's probably, oh, just narrowly misses one. Gets another opportunity, can't connect. Formal missing a few shots. And now it's Clayster's pulled out the sniper. He's sick and tired of it. He's going to go over the top, see if he can find any more. We are going to have a 4v3 now for FaZe, and this is uh, this is a must-win round. They're trailing 4-1. to one. They've got to get another so on the board. Interesting. So Tatcha struggles yesterday in the uh, it was search and destroy. I believe, uh, what, he finishes 0-8 the other day? Yeah, he did. And, uh, you're right, you're right. And he's been now right, 0 for a long 5. time. You think about it, he was had like a 1.5 KD or something. He was statistically the highest KD in search and destroy, I think, for a while outside of uh, accuracy on the, the leaderboard. Well, actually, he played like one game. Yeah, accuracy's KD in search and destroy is a 7, so... Kind of throw that one out the window. He's played like one game here in stage two, and it's gonna be a two. Yeah, I kind of wonder what's going on with the Tatch a little bit. Someone always feels so comfortable in this game mode. Might get pushed. He has a teammate looking over him. It's not a one v one. These are where he is so good. Pushes out, wins it. Oh, you gotta go! You gotta go! You gotta go! I don't think he has it. I don't it. know. I don't think he has it. I don't think be he has very, it. Very, very close. They got it. Oh my God! That was like point one left. Oh my god. That was so close to being yeah. such a choke. Yeah, it's stuck on the railing. Yeah, it's like this railing is the most complicated piece of machinery I've ever seen. Oh, he wins the 1v1. Then let's see, can we see this awkward movement? That that was like point one. We'll have to see that in the replay, but that's as close as it gets. My god. Now face takes yet another round. So let's see if they decide to go back over towards A. It's going to force out the gaming to play a little bit more defensively over towards the A bomb site. At least, and uh, see Clay going for the snipe shot. Knows Formal's going to challenge it here at the beginning, and both players just trying to jump. Lance shots across map on each other. And now it feels like though Face's hand is kind of played. You know they're trying to at least go over towards A. You see Karma's going to draw first blood. Now Clay trying to line these shots up, and not able to do so. They get a good idea where Clay is. And oh, God. You just saw Formal for a second get out of there. Actually, that might have been a nice push to think about when he has the sniper. You think maybe you can make a he play. He misses that first shot. Yeah, yeah. You got him pretty much dead to rights at that point. Well, Attach, will he be ready for this play, uh, player close behind the rock is the question. I don't know if he's seen anything yet. Now he's going to sniff it out. He's able to turn this into a 3v3. Try to tag up one more. Clayster in a tough position here. they got to push Clayster. They have to push Clayster. He should be dead any moment. That's going to be 4-1 on taking him out. Now it's going to be all on Attach. He's by himself. They're lining up in front of him and not able to do so as Karma shuts it down. 5-2 round count for Optic Gaming. Now you saw, I think it was Karma getting first blood. Karma getting the last kill in the round as well. Kind of stopped that mid-push. It looked like that's where FaZe was going to go. They were going to go back to that mid-push to A. And I think 
And when it enables in Broken and you have Formal down there with the snipe and you kind of know he's down there, you, Enable definitely saw him, decided to just back up and run. I think you just slide out and challenge him. You gotta, you gotta, he's yeah. not gonna hit. I mean, you would like to think he's well, not gonna he's, hit that shot. He's but put it away for the moment, so he makes, has camo. He probably used camo. camo. Yeah. Uh, I'm, let's see, here's gonna be the camo pop. Should have a kill around the corner, but nope, not able to hit it. He might end up falling here, actually. Need a little bit of help behind. It's Clayster actually getting the intro kill now, so they're going to have the advantage. That, that was Bomb that died out front. Now all of a sudden it's going to be two players left. It's Formal and Karma. Bomb right at the edge. They're able to pick that up. He's trying to push around. He has 16 bullets left in the clip, and he does end up chasing it down. Solid stuff. He just keeps going. He just keeps running. Puts a tag in one mid-map. Is Karma there to clean it up? No, Karma's going to be trailing behind. They're going to work together here, play this 2v2. Well, they put Faze in an awful spot because now that they're all the way in the back of the Faze spawn, they don't know whether this is going to be A or B. I mean, you could wrap all the way to A, you could go back towards B. So FaZe on the defensive side of things this has to spread out very far, and they're going to have to give up a plant here. A formal planting the bomb for the second time in his career. He's got Karma to cover him. And let's see where the pinch comes from. Karma's going to call out the HC. See what scouting information he can get. Formal watching the opposite. Oh, they both they both have HCs on. They both have HCs. These guys are lunatics. Yes. Yeah, what kinda, is this? Kind of these, are, these are some tactics. Hunt him down! There's one. Where's the last? They've got to back down here. Still chasing him. Got to save his buddy's life. He's going to come in. He's going to kill him. And they're, they're able to pick it up. Optic wins it. That's like we even made fun of them for using that dart that one yeah, time. Yeah, 2v2, the double HC duo. Yeah. Well, they're able to get one on no flak jacket on the first player. I was Zuma, I believe. And Enable has to come in challenge. Not able to win it. Much different than the first time these teams match up. First time it was phase going up 2 up. This time Optic Gaming goes up 2-0. Going into you know, Breach Uplink, trying to close it out. And Breach Uplink, you know, we talked about neither team has been great. Uh, in Uplink, though, this uh, this stage, it's surprising to see Optic at 9 and 10. It really is, considering their record. Well, Face has been one. good. They've been 13 and 5 overall.